Okay. This is uh, not my favorite. You hit this drill every year, Rich. You bang on this drill. Well, because these guys catch and fumble. You know? I'm just glad that we have the catch rule down pat now that we don't have an issue. And we got that fixed. On that, but it's just, I understand you're trying to see the catch ability and the hands and not knowing where the ball's going and making sure that they can understand the drill and run a straight line, but run. the idea isn't to catch and flick the ball away. I think it's an efficient drill, though. We're getting a chance to evaluate a lot of different things in one drill. You got your hands are going to be catching the ball in right. a variety now, of locations. You spend, how many years, you spend how many years in scouting? Eight. Okay. And many, many years in draft rooms. Yes. What do people think about this? Am I an outlier? I mean, am I, am I? The teams I work with and the guys I talk to, we always enjoy this drill. We're positive. We're, 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 we're a glass half full. We're a glass half full crowd. So am I, Daniel. But I can criticize when I see something that I think is a little bit silly. But a lot of these drills are, are, are designed to show flaws or expose or enhance pardon me i don't want to be i want to be positive enhance somebody's ability there you go sample drop one there you want to see really could these guys sprint through this too a lot of, you, the way you cheat this drill is you just jog and give yourself time You're sprinting nice job catching the ball out away from your body strong hands that's a great rep by herb smith you know what it, it was such a great rep, it's made me rethink my thoughts. Are you coming ground. around? That's my goal, to get you to come around on this drill. Caden Smith. Look. Look out. Football on a stick is always going to be <laughs> yes, your, that's tomorrow. your Mount Everest. I don't, I don't expect this drill to rise to that level. <laughs> Stay on the line, weaving all over the place. You can hear the coaches screaming at him, Stay on the line. Yeah. The fact that he's not staying on the line does that is that evaluated as not a precise route runner? You know that just how how it has to do with your athletic ability, even just how your body control and being able to sprint and stay on that line. Here's wearing. Look, he stops. He, you don't want him to decelerate when the ball's coming either. I think, think he's, uh, I think Wesco might be better going to the left. <laughs> nothing, Rich, nothing. <laughs> Man, it wasn't my best. But it's okay. It deserves some kind of a reaction. Okay, that was All right, pound the table for the drill and how it can translate. Yeah, let's look at it here. We can see David and Joku. Going through this process, coming out of the University of Miami 2017, pick number 29. Look, balls outside your frame, low one, another low one, high one, right in his chest, and now turn and get upfield. I don't like to see that cradle catch there, but now you get a chance to see him in action. A little shallow cross, balls out in front. You got a chance to see one of those. You're going to get one ball like that during this drill. Square him up, get outside your frame, high ball. Be able to frame the football with your hands properly. Nice job. Here's TJ Hawkinson. Watch him frame the ball it's nice. beautifully. Because you don't want to see cradle catch again. Let's no, just I say want to you see, want to see the ball being caught in front of I you. Want, I want to see you extend your hands. Diamond frame those it. hands That is up. a great look. I mean, that's textbook how you catch a football. There you go. See, I, now you have there to show me go. the video of David and Joku with the Browns catching it and just flipping it away and then looking for another ball. <laughs> Actually, I think he did have some fumbles early on in his career, Rich. Well, he came in really young, right? Like, oh, yeah. 20-year-old, I believe. And just turned 20. Go, go, go. That was the year. They had three, right? They had three first-rounders that year. Look at Van is rolling. Nice catch. You can just see his athletic ability. He just oozes athletic ability. Good. Come on. Go, go, go. That's a big tight end. You want to see some of those lower balls. How do they deal with those? A couple drops there from Gentry. Last time, though, he didn't run full speed. Go, go, go. 
<laughs> Did a better job of running full speed on that drill. Just weaved off the line a little bit, but again, caught the ball really well. Knox was awesome. We were at commercial in his first rip through. He was rolling and caught everything smoothly. Look at this. I mean, he hasn't he hasn't moved the oh, finish. Yeah, put the Ziggy on him, Daniel. Here's Mac. Go, 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 go. Good man. Good man. That ball, these balls are humming. <laughs> are you going to wear that headband when you leave me? Peter Schrager. Rich, we look at these guys and you're watching Noah Fant. A lot of fans at home saying, well, we already have a tight end. We don't need one. You look at what the Baltimore Ravens did last year. They took Hayden Hurst and Lamar Jackson in the first round and then doubled up and got Mark Andrews in the third round. Both Hurst and Andrews, when healthy, were on the field playing a role. In today's NFL, you get as many playmakers, as many guys can make a difference. Don't disqualify your team from getting a Noah Fant just because you already have a starting tight end. Don't be surprised if he goes in the first round to a team that already has one. Lighten up your fantasy rosters already. Well, I think that that is uh, an excellent point it just obviously teams have four or five wides and obviously you need to fill out that as a depth chart instead of having a, another wide receiver having another tight end absolutely is the way to go in the nfl for Co teams coach billick used to always talk about the wide receiver position you want to build a basketball team all different skill sets different sizes guys that can do different things the tight end group is turning the exact same thing. You're looking for that in-line wide tight end that can help you in the run game and play with his hand on the ground. Then you're also looking for somebody that can maybe be that move tight end. You can flex him out the slot and do some of those things. Now, you get the unique guys can do everything. Right. But teams are still trying to find all those different skill sets because you can you can really get after some people personnel grouping wise when you can play with two and three tight ends and you have some of them are athletic enough to function as a wide receiver. Herb Smith with another Smooth great grab right there and he was straight down the line, caught everything, even held onto it for a split second longer, which is what I'd be I'd be evaluating. Caden Smith. We're going to see this with the really? wideouts later on today too. So if I'm, if I'm getting this right, baseball's talking about the pitch clock, and you want the catch clock. You got to hold it for three seconds, and then you nice. put it down. And Sternberger just had the. Sometimes players don't turn the right way for the first time. I've seen I've seen some dudes get plunked in the head on this drill when you look the wrong way. Body catches there for Thomas Sweeney. Are you serious? Are you serious? I'm sorry. Good, good. Right down. Got the are you serious? Because he faced the wrong way to start. It happens every year. He said, I'm sorry. Now go, now go, now go. Hold the line. That's Ron Middleton and Jackson go giving the are you serious. I love that. He's perfect for the uh, Marone Coughlin staff. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> All right, Caleb Ron. Hold it, hold it, hold it. See his speed. Oh, oh man, the last. It's like watching a no hitter get broken throw up in the, the day. Oh, look at this. With Noah Fant, you can see staying right on that line. This is cool. You see him framing the football, catching it beautifully. That is awesome. Looking it in, tucking it away. And a great haircut to boot.